On October 29th, we're set to get our best view yet of 3i Atlas as it swings its closest pass by the sun. But ahead of that, here are the latest updates and the wild theories floating around. There is major talk that 3i Atlas detonated or activated a solar shield as it crossed behind the sun and that it took a solar burst hit. The reality is it is behind the sun from Earth's view right now thanks to what is called conjunction. That means we'll lose direct images until it reemerges. There's no verified evidence of a shield or hit burst, just behavior consistent with intense solar heating and gas jets. Further rumors claim that NASA quietly triggered its planetary defense protocols because this visitor is behaving oddly. The fact is, the object poses no threat to Earth. Scientists monitor for risk, yes, but the distance and trajectory of 3i Atlas says it's harmless. Further, many believe 3i Atlas is changing course, steering itself instead of behaving like a simple rock. What we observe is consistent with an object losing mass, venting gas, and experiencing jet thrust from outgassing. That can alter path motion slightly. So far, path changes fit natural physics, not alien navigation. So what should we watch for on October 29th? We'll get new high-resolution images, spectral data, which will tell us about the chemical markers and validate what we've seen, and then distance and visibility. 3i Atlas will be approximately 130 million miles from the sun, about 1.4 times Earth-Sun distance at closest approach. Earth can't view it directly during conjunction, so images may drop days later. I'll be back on or around October 29th with the full What We Saw breakdown, so make sure you hit subscribe, tune in, and catch the latest on Mostly True Alien Stories podcast. Until then, is this a Mostly True Alien Story or not?